Have you ever pondered over the mysteries that have left even the brightest minds utterly bewildered? One such enigma is the ancient city of Atlantis, a paradise lost in time and space, a riddle that continues to confound us even today. So, buckle up as we dive into the depths of this ancient mystery. The tale of Atlantis first surfaced in the dialogues of the Greek philosopher Plato around 2,400 years ago. According to him, Atlantis was a powerful and advanced kingdom that sank, in a single day and night of misfortune, into the ocean around 9,600 years before his own time. The story goes that after the city sank, its whereabouts were lost forever, concealed beneath the ocean's blue veil. Plato's story was not a mere yarn spun around a campfire. He provided intricate details about the city, describing it as larger than Asia and Libya combined, with an abundance of resources, exotic wildlife, and an advanced civilization. The Atlanteans were described as a noble and powerful race who lived in peace and prosperity, only to fall from grace due to their moral and spiritual decay. Despite Plato's vivid descriptions, the location of Atlantis remains a mystery. Over the centuries, countless explorers and scholars have proposed various theories, suggesting locations ranging from the Mediterranean Sea to the Caribbean, from the depths of the Atlantic Ocean to the icy landscapes of Antarctica. So, what caused this magnificent city to sink? Here too, theories abound. Some suggest a catastrophic earthquake or tsunami, while others propose a rapid rise in sea levels or even a massive volcanic eruption. But here's the catch. Despite the wealth of theories and the relentless search for Atlantis, there is no concrete archaeological evidence to support its existence. This has led many to believe that Atlantis was nothing more than a myth, a moral tale invented by Plato to warn his contemporaries about the dangers of hubris and moral decay. To sum up, the mystery of Atlantis is a tale as old as time, originating from the writings of the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. It tells of a powerful and advanced civilization that sank into the ocean in a single day and night of misfortune. Despite countless theories and searches, the location of Atlantis and the cause of its downfall remain unknown. And while the city's existence is yet to be proven, the story of Atlantis continues to captivate us, a testament to our enduring fascination with the unknown. So, as we continue to explore the world and its myriad mysteries, the legend of Atlantis serves as a reminder, a reminder of the power of stories, the allure of the unknown, and most importantly, the timeless lessons they hold for us. Even if we never find the lost city, the story of Atlantis will continue to ignite our imagination, prompting us to question, to explore, and to seek answers. After all, isn't that what mystery is all about? As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the ancient world, our journey takes us to another captivating enigma. The Pyramids of Egypt, specifically the Great Pyramid of Giza. Like Atlantis, the pyramids too have been a source of fascination and mystery, a testament to the ingenuity, sophistication, and the inexplicable knowledge of ancient civilizations. First, let's consider their construction. The techniques used to build these colossal structures remain a topic of debate among archaeologists and historians. How did the ancient Egyptians, without the aid of modern technology, manage to move and arrange massive stone blocks with such precision? Some theories suggest the use of ramps and levers, while others propose more exotic methods involving the use of water channels or even extraterrestrial intervention. Next, we ponder their purpose and significance. While commonly believed to be tombs for pharaohs, some researchers argue that the pyramids might have served more complex purposes, such as astronomical observatories or even energy generators. And finally, let's not forget the intriguing alignment of these monumental structures. The pyramids of Giza, for instance, are remarkably aligned with the stars of Orion's belt, a detail that astounds even the most skeptical observers. As we continue our exploration of the ancient world, the pyramids of Egypt, like the story of Atlantis, remain a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown. They remind us of our thirst for knowledge, our fascination with the past, and our constant strive to uncover the secrets that history has so carefully preserved. Our exploration of the world's ancient mysteries now leads us to the verdant plains of England, where we encounter the enigmatic Stonehenge. This prehistoric monument, composed of massive standing stones arranged in a circular pattern, 
has baffled historians, archaeologists, and tourists for centuries. Its construction is a marvel in itself. The stones, some weighing as much as 25 tons, were transported over vast distances, a feat that would be remarkable even today. But how was it accomplished by a society that existed more than 4,000 years ago? Theories range from the use of sledges and rollers to the more fantastical suggestion of levitation through sound waves. As for its purpose, Stonehenge is steeped in speculation. Was it a place of worship, a burial ground, or a celestial calendar? Some believe it was a sacred site for the Druids, while others argue it was a prehistoric healing center. The monument's alignment also holds astronomical significance. The stones are arranged to frame the rising sun on the summer solstice, hinting at a possible understanding of the celestial cycle by its ancient builders. But with no written records, these theories remain just that theories. Despite countless studies and excavations, the true purpose and origins of Stonehenge remain shrouded in mystery, an enduring enigma of human history that continues to captivate our imagination. Our journey of unraveling the world's greatest mysteries now takes us to the arid plains of southern Peru, home to the enigmatic Nazca Lines. These ancient geoglyphs etched into the Earth's surface represent various creatures, shapes and patterns visible only from high above. The images include representations of animals such as the spider, hummingbird, monkey, and even a humanoid figure known as the astronaut. The Nazca lines were created by removing the reddish-brown iron oxide-coated pebbles that cover the surface of the Nazca desert and revealing the light-colored earth underneath. This stark contrast in color makes the lines visible from great distances. Despite being exposed to harsh winds and scorching sun, these lines have survived for over 2,000 years, a testament to their creator's ingenuity. The purpose of these lines is as mysterious as their creation. Some theories suggest they were used as astronomical calendars. Others propose they were part of a ritual to bring much needed rain, while some believe they were messages to the gods or even landing strips for extraterrestrial spacecraft. Despite the many theories, none have been proven definitively. Just like the pyramids of Egypt and the stones of Stonehenge, the Nazca Lines are an enigma of the ancient world that continue to perplex researchers and spark our collective curiosity. The question of who created these lines, how they achieved such precision, and why they undertook this massive project remains as obscure as the desert itself. From the enigmatic plains of Peru, we now journey to the heart of South America, where the legend of El Dorado, the lost city of gold, has lured explorers and treasure hunters for centuries. The legend originated from the Muisca people of modern-day Colombia, who during religious ceremonies would cover their chief in gold dust, who would then dive into Lake Guatavita, washing off the gold and sending it to the bottom of the sacred lake. This ritual sparked the imaginations of the Spanish conquistadors, transforming the golden chief into a city of unimaginable wealth. Many expeditions were launched in search of El Dorado, from the jungles of Colombia to the highlands of Ecuador and Peru, and even the plains of Brazil. These quests often ended in disaster, with explorers losing their lives to disease, starvation, and conflict with indigenous tribes. Despite these tragedies, the promise of a city of gold was too tempting to resist, and many more have followed in their footsteps, leaving a trail of destruction and despair. The legend of El Dorado, however, is more than just a tale of greed and ambition. It's a testament to the rich cultural heritage of the indigenous people of South America and their respect for the natural world. The gold was not just a symbol of wealth, but a sacred element, a gift from the gods. In the end, El Dorado remains a myth, an elusive dream that continues to captivate the imagination, symbolizing the human quest for wealth, adventure, and the unexplored. Like the Nazca Lines, the Pyramids, and Stonehenge, the legend of El Dorado is a mystery that continues to fascinate us, a testament to our enduring fascination with the unknown. From the golden allure of El Dorado, we now sail into the enigmatic waters of the Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle. This region, bounded by Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico, is infamous for the mysterious disappearances of ships and aircraft that have sparked countless theories and debates. Some of the most notable incidents include the disappearance of the USS Cyclops, a naval cargo ship with over 300 men on board in 1918, and the infamous Flight 19, 
a group of five torpedo bombers that vanished during a routine training exercise in 1945. These unexplained vanishings have led many to speculate about the existence of supernatural forces, extraterrestrial activity, and even the lost city of Atlantis. Theories range from the scientifically plausible, such as magnetic anomalies, rogue waves, or methane hydrates, to the more fantastical, like alien abductions, time warps, and portals to other dimensions. Despite extensive investigations, no conclusive explanation has ever been found, and many skeptics argue that the phenomenon is nothing more than a product of human error and sensationalist media. The Bermuda Triangle remains a source of intrigue and speculation, a maritime mystery that continues to baffle scientists and captivate the public imagination. Like El Dorado, the pyramids and Stonehenge, the Bermuda Triangle serves as a reminder of our fascination with the unexplained, the allure of the unknown that continues to draw us into the depths of mystery. From the depths of the Bermuda Triangle, we now journey to the heart of Italy, to a cathedral in Turin, where an enigmatic relic resides. Known as the Shroud of Turin, this delicate piece of linen is believed by some to be the burial cloth of Jesus Christ. The shroud features a faint image of a man with wounds consistent with crucifixion, further fueling the belief of its sacred origin. Carbon dating tests conducted in 1988 suggested the shroud was a medieval forgery, dating it between 1260 and 1390. However, later research challenged these findings, arguing that the sample tested was contaminated. The shroud has been subjected to numerous scientific examinations, including studies in the fields of chemistry, forensics, and imaging technology. Yet, the authenticity of the shroud remains a hotly debated topic among scientists, historians, and theologians. Despite the controversy, for many, the Shroud of Turin continues to be a profound symbol of faith, a tangible link to the divine. Much like the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle, the Pyramids, and El Dorado, the enigma of the Shroud of Turin captivates our curiosity, beckoning us to explore the fascinating interplay between faith, history, and science. From the sacred relic of the Shroud of Turin, we now turn our gaze to a perplexing piece of literature. Known as the Voynich Manuscript, this illustrated codex, penned in an unknown script, has puzzled cryptographers and historians for centuries. Discovered in 1912 by Wilfred Voynich, a Polish book dealer, it's filled with botanical, astronomical, and seemingly magical illustrations, accompanied by text written in an uncrackable code. Countless attempts have been made to decipher the Voynich manuscript. The best minds in cryptography, including those who cracked the Enigma code during World War II, have tried and failed to unlock its secrets. Some have dismissed it as an elaborate hoax, while others believe it to be the work of an unknown medieval genius. Various theories about its origin and purpose abound. It has been posited as an herbal guide, an astrological text, a work of alchemy, or even an encoded alien message. Despite the numerous studies and theories, the Voynich manuscript remains one of the most mysterious and enigmatic texts in the world. Its purpose and language shrouded in the same veil of mystery that cloaks Atlantis, the Pyramids, and the Shroud of Turin. The enigma of the Voynich Manuscript continues to challenge us, a testament to the enduring power of unsolved mysteries. As we journey from the cryptic pages of the Voynich Manuscript, let's transport ourselves to the golden era of ancient China, where another enigma awaits us. Behold the Terracotta Army a collection of terracotta sculptures depicting the armies of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. This marvel of ancient art and engineering was discovered in 1974 by local farmers near Xi'an, Shanxi province. The terracotta army was crafted to accompany the emperor into the afterlife, a testament to his power and authority. It consists of more than 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots with 520 horses, and 150 cavalry horses, each with distinct facial features and expressions, reflecting the diversity of Qin Shi Huang's vast empire. The craftsmanship and technological sophistication of these sculptures are astounding. They were created using assembly line methods, a concept far ahead of its time. The soldiers were assembled from separately manufactured pieces, then finished with careful individualized detailing. This process, coupled with a unique high temperature firing technique, ensured the sculpture's longevity allowing them to survive for over two millennia. 
the Terracotta Army continues to awe and inspire, a testament to the grandeur of ancient China. Like Atlantis and the Voynich Manuscript, it stands as a monument to human ingenuity and the enduring allure of the unknown. From the Emperor's grand vision to the artisan's meticulous detailing, each sculpture tells a story, echoing the voices of a long-lost civilization, inviting us to unravel its mysteries. As we leave the terracotta warriors standing guard in their eternal formation, we journey next to a mystery that has intrigued and perplexed scholars for decades. Welcome to the enigmatic world of the Crystal Skulls. These human skull hardstone carvings, made of clear or milky white quartz, have been a source of mystery and controversy since their discovery. The Crystal Skulls were first unearthed in the 19th and early 20th centuries. They are life-size representations of human skulls, meticulously carved from single blocks of quartz crystal. The most famous of these is the Mitchell Hedges skull, discovered by British adventurer F.A. Mitchell Hedges in Belize during the 1920s. There are many theories about the origin and purpose of these skulls. Some believe they are relics from lost civilizations, such as Atlantis or Lemuria, while others speculate they might be extraterrestrial in origin. Some even attribute mystical properties to these skulls, suggesting they hold ancient wisdom or have healing powers. However, the authenticity of these skulls has been a subject of intense debate. Some experts argue that the technology required to craft such intricate pieces did not exist at the time they were allegedly made. Despite the controversy, the crystal skulls continue to be a subject of intrigue and debate among archaeologists and enthusiasts. Like the Terracotta Army, the Voynich Manuscript, and the Lost City of Atlantis, they represent a puzzle waiting to be solved. A mystery that invites us to explore the limits of our knowledge and our imagination. Next, we journey from the enigmatic crystal clarity of these skulls to another mysterious phenomenon, leaving you to ponder on the enduring allure of the unknown. As we leave behind the enigmatic crystal skulls, we dive into the depths of the Aegean Sea to uncover a marvel of ancient Greek technology. Welcome to the puzzle of the Antikythera mechanism. Discovered in a shipwreck off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera in 1901, this intricate bronze device has been dated to between 150 and 100 BC. Its complex system of over 30 gears, inscriptions and dials has led scientists to identify it as an ancient analog computer. The Antikythera mechanism was used to predict astronomical positions and solar and lunar eclipses with remarkable accuracy, decades in advance. This level of sophistication was not seen again in Europe until the development of mechanical astronomical clocks in the 14th century. The mechanism challenges our understanding of ancient Greek technology. It shows that the Greeks had a far more advanced grasp of mechanical engineering than previously believed. Yet the knowledge and techniques used to create the Antikythera mechanism seem to have been lost, as no other devices of similar complexity have been found from this period. The Antikythera mechanism stands as a testament to the technological prowess of the ancient Greeks, a marvel that continues to puzzle and fascinate us with its sophistication and ingenuity. As we move forward in our journey, we are reminded of the incredible capacity of human creativity and innovation, even in the distant past. 